give you a full demo of the Startup Village platform. And uh, we're going to divide it into four, like, three or four parts. First, I'm going to touch upon how you can learn from the SV.co team using the Startup Village platform. Second, how can you best leverage the platform, use the platform to learn from the industry. Fourth, the third part, uh, we talk about uh, how you can learn from your peers because building a startup, as you, most of you know, cannot be learned from your professors in college or the books that you read in college. Those who build startups are out there in the real world and you have to learn from them. Now, Startup Village platform has been designed keeping this in mind. And the fourth part that I'm going to cover is how Startup Village can be a continuous source of help and access to a lot of investors, etc. for you guys. And how we can continuously aid you in your startup journey. And the fifth and the final bit, I'm going to talk about the outcomes that you can look forward to if you become part of the Startup Village platform. So without, without further ado, let me just start breaking into each of these parts. The first part, how do you learn from the SP.co team? Now this, as most of you can see, is the homepage of the Startup Village platform. If anybody wants to join Startup Village, just type in www.sv.co on your search bar. Just come to our page, click on this big green button out here. It will say join in your case because I'm logged in. It's his dashboard. I'll get into all the details later. Just click on the green, big green button. You will be led to another page from where you can be, sign up and become part of the Startup Village platform. So the home page possibly goes on to give you a preview of what, what the outcomes to look forward to are. So I, earlier I mentioned outcomes out here. Now these are the outcomes that have been mentioned out here. I'll get into these details later. Then we talk about how this has been ex you know, exclusively designed for students. You learn from experts from across the world. I'll get into all those details. But one thing that I'd like to stress upon is this program is completely online. So you can be part of the Startup Village platform being based in your college right now. You don't have to travel to any new city. You don't have to come to Bangalore. You can be part of Startup Village by being in your college right now. So that's why we have stressed upon wherever you are alongside your college degree. So that that's, we also, I think a couple of pictures can be seen of, of our Silicon Valley program. Uh, how days get spent, what happens during the first day, second day, etc. So this is from our last trip that happened uh, in June 2017. So you can see those pictures. So yeah, a couple of testimonials and that's, that's pretty much all of, all of it to the site. But uh, let, me, let me, without further ado, let me get into the details, right? Now, the moment you join Startup Village, I assume that some of you may have your own ideas to start off with. Some, some of you may already have formed teams and you have a particular idea or a problem that you're trying to solve. For those who don't have an idea out by themselves, we give you access to a list of ideas. So we have partnered with a company called Traction. You can look up TRACXN, you can look up the company. And we had get them get a lot of ideas them to, them to sort of you know help us identify a lot of problem statements from the industry, so, and then we present them to you. For instance, these are the list of ideas. There are a lot of these, so we come up with a you know we we have traction give us a one pager of what exactly those ideas are, and I can give you one of the previous to one of the ideas. So I'm sure most of you are aware it's fantasy sports. So this is what a one pager looks like. It, uh, this is what, what it exactly looks like. I'm giving you a preview of one of the ideas that you know one of our teams had earlier worked on. Now, it gives you an executive summary. So what, what is this idea all about? That's what it talks about. Followed by theses. Like why is this idea relevant right now? Why does it make sense to build a company that solves this problem right now? So it gives you a detailed information about you know what the global industry looks like. Followed by it gives you information to who are the global similars. Now, when I say global similars, it, what it means is uh, who are the, which are the other companies that are trying to solve similar problems across the world. For instance, it says that DraftKings, uh, based out of Boston, is possibly a big company uh, and it's trying to solve a particular this problem that's very similar to this. It also, this, the, the one page of the idea also you know, talks about what are the founder skills required to possibly attempt this problem and solve it. Now, if, for instance, uh, it requires sales skills of tie-ups, sporting brands and teams, somebody has to build a web platform, mobile application. Now, if you don't have skills of building a mobile application, maybe you know, this is not the best idea for you to go forward. Maybe you should go and uh, look for a different idea. It also talks about who are the Indian companies that are doing uh, possibly similar stuff in India. So it, it lists down to Indian companies. And this is one of the important metrics, time to customer validation, where we talk about how soon, how much time do you really have before this idea becomes stale? So as you can see, 
within two years is what we've been advised and this this idea was from you know sort of discussed you know we, we had this idea being considered in close to two years back so the time is sort of up but yeah you can always revisit there are tons of ideas like this that you can actually go at so we have a whole lot listed out here so that's for teams who do not have an idea who do not have a problem statement they have defined for themselves now the moment you join startup village right you get access to what is called a dashboard now i'm actually you're actually looking at one of the dashboards is one of the teams that are currently part of startup village if you come to the dashboard you will realize that it's divided into you know, a couple of levels level 1 is startup basics level 2 is select idea level 3 is decide what to build level 4 develop an alpha product level 5 discover the first customer now this is based these levels have been designed based on our understanding of you know what what it takes to build a startup we have identified five levels and we have identified within levels we have identified things like targets like these are all targets now you can see this team has particularly completed all the targets they've give, they've been given feedback on each of the targets for instance executive product tear, tear down now let me just give you a preview of what what the target looks like right for instance the team has been the team has been given a, tar a target of picking up a saas product of your choice and execute a product tear down now possibly let me go for a simpler one so that you understand this better now introduce your team right now this was completed on august 31st description is introduce your team in slack community channel in the, on the slack in the community channel to the following steps record a video of the, all the team members in the video they've been given a description they've been given a completion instruction and you can go ahead and submit this particular target now once now in this case the team has already attempted this particular target so which means that it's complete now the moment a team submits a particular target it comes up for review in the back end this is what I, this is what our back end looks like and we check out each of those targets and we decide if to accept this if you mark them as verified which means that we are accepting that particular target or we mark them as needs improvement or we decide not accept it we also have an option to give you feedback which we most often do and this is what our back end looks like so this is these are all the targets that have been submitted by all of the teams which are up for review by the startup village team now the moment your target has been approved by us right this is what it looks like so the description you've given feedback there, there is a there might be in some of the targets there might be a presentation along with it which describes what has to be done so here you have uh, Vishnu giving a feedback thanks thanks for the quick turnaround so he's actually commenting how fast this particular team completed this particular target now the moment the targets have been verified and they've gone you know we have given feedback it goes into what is called a timeline for every team now timeline is this list of targets that you have completed as a team now we're looking at the timeline of one of the earlier startup village companies a team uh, was led by francis and his team was team was called flip Pay. now let me give you what happened a preview into what happened during one of the target submissions now this is one of the targets where the team was asked to submit a product deck make a product presentation and submit it now as you can clearly see in the description they've mentioned failed deck we managed to create a deck but failed terribly at keeping it simple now this is the feedback given by Vishnu and they've captured that onto a timeline event which means they submitted their target now let's let's take a look at what what that like deck look like for instance this is what the deck look like you know they built a product deck which was not exactly the best of decks they couldn't keep it simple and we had given the respective feedback now that went on to team Felipe actually submitting a revised deck for instance failed deck 2 because they improved a lot from the first deck and that was also not accepted by us which means that you know it was a failed team event but eventually they went on to take all you know consider all the feedback that we gave them and they went on to build up another deck which we accepted because we found it was pretty good now let me give you a preview of that what that looked like this is what the final deck of team Felipe looked like so as you can clearly see market improvement from the first deck that they made to the current deck that they've made right now this was seen as a huge step and this is what you know this is exactly how we the startup village team helps you learn how to build a startup because uh, see this deck is good enough to be presented in front of an investor an investor who's considering investment in the segment will definitely have a good look at this team because they've built they managed to build a really good deck that's that's one thing now the, all the targets that you've submitted go on to be part of the timeline as I already mentioned 
This timeline also serves as a sort of a profile page for your startup, where we're talking about, we have details that we furnish about your startup level, the industry that you're in, your website, your product deck, link to your video, and all of this is public. Anybody can see through this. So investors who are considering investing in your startup will get access to these timelines <clears throat> and they'll possibly reach out to you for investors or if there are, if there are companies out there that will that are express a desire to acquire you as a team, they can always check out, check out this profile and uh, consider acquiring you. So which it, it did happen. Free charge saw what these guys had built and acquired the entire team. So that was pretty, pretty epic achievement for them. So now, possibly another detail is this is the wireframes that Team Flipper had built based on the feedback and you know and suggestion that we given them. So this is what you fundamentally do. Now this is how you learn from the startup village team as to how to go about possibly building a better startup. Now I also briefly run you through the product video that Team Flipper had made. And this is done on a very thin budget. Absolutely no money spent on it. You, all done using completely online free tools. You can ask Team Flipper what they've done. So. This is what as you can see, yeah, pretty rapid video. So good job with that flipping. So now one of the interesting other targets that we had given to uh, the teams that all the all the targets I as I mentioned earlier come on to your dashboard and you can possibly start att attempting them. So one of the targets that we had given them, uh, we had given one of the teams was send a cold connection request. And to our surprise and to everybody's surprise, Varun from Team Advoke had the audacity to send an email to Richard Branson and Richard Branson did respond. Now that was huge. So his audacity completely paid off and we were happy for him. And here we have uh, the actual screenshot of the mail that Richard Branson had sent asking Varun to meet up with him when Richard Branson was in India. So that's huge. Like now the moment this, this brings in confidence for a founder. Now this is based on the, this was a response to one of the targets that we had set. And this sort of gives you a preview of what the levels in our startup journey is. Now founders also get access to what is called a startup library. There are a lot of these legal documents, other legal stuff that uh, founders have to get access to and that all that are available in what is called a, a startup library. For instance, agreement with founders, with pa agreement with partner partnership, uh, sample, MOA, AOA, all the, all the boring formalities that you have to go through, a, partner, a sample partnership deed. So all of these, all of these information and uh, documents are available, but it's not just the, that kind of information that's available out here. We also do have detailed stories. For instance, this is, a, this is one of the resources in, uh, in the library. It's called Chilla Origin Story. Now, Chilla Origin Stories is possibly a rundown, it's actually a rundown of the entire Chilla saga. Now, Chilla, as you, most of you know, is a P2P money transfer app. And uh, Vishnu Gopal, who has been involved with Chilla's team from the very start, gives you a rundown of what exactly happened at Chilla during its initial days. People mostly think it's very straightforward line, but what really happens is a crooked line. And uh, he give, he, his, his, all the wisdom that he's gained from the Chilla journey is captured here for all of you to read through what are the pivots that happened and things like that. So that that's one bit of it. So this is this is how the startup village platform helps you learn how to build a company. Now it doesn't stop here. So this 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 bit is what you've learned right now. Learn from SV.co team. Now how do you learn from the industry? Because see, learning how to build a startup or teaching how to build a startup is a lot like teaching somebody how to swim. Only if you know how to swim can you teach someone else how, how to swim. So all the people who have built successful companies are not in colleges sitting out there to teach you. All of these people are out in the industry building or growing their own companies. Now, how do you learn from them? So we've, we've come up with a concept called sessions, wherein these, uh, these founders from the across industry connect with you online live. For all the, peop all the students who, who are members of the Startup Village Collective, you get access to something called a a founder session wherein a founder talks about his, his, or, his or her journey as to how he built his own company. For instance, here we have uh, Rohit, who is the founder of Darwin Box, the fastest growing HR technology company in India, talking about his journey as to how he built his initial company. Now, this, was, this, was done, this session was done live and you have access to 
a lot of these sessions. There have been a number of sessions over the years and uh, all these are available for you to view anytime. And let me possibly take you through one of the most interesting sessions. We had a session by one Miss uh, Ellen Petrilens. Now she was part of the team who worked on the first Macintosh along with Steve Jobs himself. So here she talks about path to thinking different and uh, it, she talks about the bit where she worked with Steve Jobs, how it was to work with her and what were the results she, were able to achieve, she was able to achieve. He started deeply asking the question, what made Steve Steve? Why was he so good at casting his path and living in alignment with his tourist intention? And what can I, what did I miss from that? What can I learn it's, from that? It's definitely one thing listening to Ellen talk live, but you can always re-watch her video. It's available out here for sessions. Now she tells you insights, you know, you can actually listen to someone who actually worked with Steve Jobs. So that's, and there are a number of people out there. So we bring a lot of people from the industry and we let you have a conversation with them. A mini, a one to many conversation where you will be listening to, Ellen, listening to Ellen talk along with a lot of other founders. Now, it just doesn't stop at that. Some of these people who have conducted sessions, if you like the session, they're also available for what is called a faculty connect. Now, faculty connect is when you have an option to talk to them one on one. We have, we have, we have, you know, we've been in the startup industry for over 10 years now, and we have built so many connections that, you know, we've been continuously reaching out to all of them, asking them if they would be able to spend time talking to students who want to build startups. And most of them have agreed. And we have a lot of people from the industry. For instance, we have uh, Shraddha Sharma who built uh, Your Story, as most of them are available. It's some of the top VCs in the country. We have uh, Farindra Sama who built Red Bus. Shasha Machindani is a VC. We have, uh, we have, for instance, one of the founders, I think Ritesh Akarwal is not listed here, but uh, Tanmay, Tanmay, uh, I think Tanmay Bhatt, who is the founder of a company called Hasura. Let me just look him up. Akrish Vaith, who is the CEO of Haptic, most of you are available. Tanmay Gopal, who is one of the founders of Hasura, an um, exciting new engineering company. So number of people who are out there who, Girish Madhrabudam, who is the founder of the biggest SaaS company in India. Now he's available for a connect. Now all these people are available for you to talk to on a one-on-one -on -one session and uh, you place a request to them and you can go about connecting with them. Now, it just doesn't stop at this. It's not just online sessions. Now all of, these sessions, all of the stuff that I showed you right now was completely online. We have events that happen in the industry. For instance, this is one of the videos of one of the events that happened at Freshter. That, that's the Freshter's panel sitting and evaluating all our students. All the students who are part of the Sada Village Collective. Here you have Girish himself talking to all the students, addressing the students. What is the right solution? Has something changed? Should I just go and do solve it the same way? Now, some of you may not be aware, this is actually happening at the Freshters campus in Chennai. So this will happen. This will be hap This happens at the Freshers campus in Chennai. So you get to you get to actually experience what the what the Freshers office is like and all of the stuff. So that's that's one of the video. Second, uh, you get to experience Silicon Valley firsthand. Like uh, this is this is one of the this is one of the one of a couple of our founders standing in front of Steve Jobs' garage in California. So this is during the Silicon Valley trip that happens after the after the event. So this is this is again a clip of our students at uh, Facebook HQ in Menlo Park. So a lot of our teams got a chance to pitch in front of the Facebook uh, team in uh, in Freshdesk. I mean in Facebook HQ in Menlo Park, California. Facebook and just like a dream now. That's Gopi Kalel. Uh, the team is right now in the video uh, in the Google HQ in um, in Mountain View, and you'd be curious to know that a floor above is where Sergey and Larry, um, Sergey Brin and Larry Page actually sit. So you they being the students are being hosted there. So you get a chance to pitch in front of that crowd also while you go to Silicon Valley. So this this sort of completes completes our. Uh,
our uh, preview of how do you learn from the industry. Now, the third bit, how do you learn from your peers? How do you do that? So there, we what is called a public Slack. Now, Slack, there is a Slack community and we have multiple channels out there. We have announcements, collective, community, engineering. So a lot of people who are complete, you know, on, online constantly. Some of these, some of the faculty, uh, some of these people who have who've been listed here are hanging out in these Slack communities and possibly may answer a couple of the questions that you ask. So a lot of people hanging out, you can ask, for instance, I saw some of the, one of the, one of the, one Abel right here ask a particular question and you have three different people responding. Now, this is Siddharth who was part of the Startup Village first, first batch. And so you have, multi, you, you have your alumni coming to rescue, Adam Shamsuvino was from a different batch. So, so interesting things that happen continuously. We have only one, except for two channels, all the channels are public, which means that even if you're not part of Startup Village Collective, you can come be part of this. Now, Collective is the log channel where only the members get access to. Here is where our most active discussions happen. And here is where, uh, for instance, here, uh, Bharat from the Startup Village team is announcing session. Like, today we have a session with uh, Chennamani of, of uh, co-founder of Darwin Box, the session that I showed you earlier. Here, here, here you have Bharat giving a small description and what you can look forward to. So the link of the session is shared out here, only out here, and people can join in using that link. So that's that's this is what happens in the Slack channels. You have, there's a channel called resources where a lot of the resources are continuously shared. You can come access all of this for free, completely up to you. So even if you've uh, even even if you're not part of Startup Village, I recommend that you come and check out. So this is where all the peer learning happens. This community is completely active. We have an English channel where a lot of English related discussions happen. For instance, we have, uh, even though we've noticed that some of the founders are great in speaking English, but when it comes to business communication, uh, some of them falter. So we have a lot of exercises that are up for you so that you can perfect your business English. Manoj Mohan, a faculty is available 24 seven, and he's a great coach for you to continuously improve your business communication skills. I'm, I know most of you really need it. So that's, that's one bit. So I spoke about how you learn from the SQL.co team, how you learn from the industry, and how you learn from your peers. Now beyond this, see we are actually, this, what this really represents is a club of people who you have continuous access to. Now you can now, even if you've done with your program with Startup Village, you've completed the program in four months or six months, because you learn at your own pace, you may complete it at your own pace. So now, once you've, once you've done with this, right, you can always come back to us and we are, <clears throat> we are always there to help you continuously build your startup. We think it takes a couple of iterations for com, com, you know, student founders to really get how to go about building a startup. And we help you do that. Now, finally, uh, I touch upon the outcomes. I don't think I've loaded that page, so bear with me while I load that page. So, now, what are the outcomes you, you have to look forward to, right? Now, as I mentioned at the first page, right? This is the six outcomes that you can look forward to. Now, <laughs> close to 90% of the startups really fail. They don't make it beyond the point. Now, what happens to those startups who didn't make it beyond the point? Because which again is a major, majority, right? Some of you actually may get, uh, you know, into an accelerator. Now, here we have the story of Profoundus. If you click on this, a video can play, and you can listen to the story of Profoundus, who were unable to, you know, monetize their product, but eventually were able, you know, actually hired by a company called Full Contact, and now they become Full Contact India, and they're running the entire India operations, and uh, the CEO has moved to USA, running the data strategy based out of um, I think Dallas. Yeah. So we have a we have a conversation about how why the team got an accelerator in spite of being able to not being able to progress in the startup journey. Here you have the story of Tally who were acquired, uh, sorry, ZPay who were acquired by a company called Tally. Now they were unable to advance beyond a point, but they were able to see make an outcome happen along the with the help of SP.co and they were able to get themselves acquired. Here we have the story of Sachu who built a beautiful company while in college, but was unable to monetize it, but got hired by a bigger startup because he, and he, he's, got, he's out there learning how to, you know, correcting his own mistakes that he made while building his own startup. So you can you can either go to an accelerator or get acquired or get a job or make your startup self sustainable or go for higher studies also. Those are also options. So we, and if everything goes well, you your product is working, you are getting revenues, we also open up funding options for you. And which means that we are, we are okay with making any of the six outcomes happen for you. Now, how does how do those happen? We have a dedicated page to this 
where which we called sp.co slash talent where companies can come companies can think of acquiring hiring teams they can click on the startups they can they get to see all of the startups and they can decide which startup to acquire hire we encourage companies to come and hire founders we encourage investors to come and possibly find startups worthy of investment we so this is this is where they get to see all the startup listed so if you become part of the startup list collective you will also be listed as a startup out here and your <coughs> timelines will be available for public view and possibly investors can decide if they want to go ahead and invest in you so yeah just like i showed you flip based timeline out here for it, this is the timeline of a lora desk one of the one of the newer startups in a part of a platform a uh, robin interestingly has been placed in tally because they couldn't uh, get their startup running beyond a point tally tally hired them for a package of 7 lakhs per annum which is which is rarely offered to freshers and robin backed their offer straight out of college now usually freshers are given a salary of 3.5 lakhs but robin had a package double that amount because he was able to showcase his experience and maturity by running a startup while in college so those are the benefits that you get i hope you've gotten a rough understanding of what the startup village collective is you can always come back and watch this live again on tuesday and every tuesday every tuesday at 8 pm i'll be available personally available online to talk to you and happy to help you in any regard uh nice talking to you guys i'll see you i'll possibly return in 5 minutes or 2 minutes to answer all your questions stay tuned